the Pope's new exhortation, More Moral Ambiguity. I'm just going to read part of this to you. The Pope's new exhortation, More Moral Ambiguity. Moral Ambiguity. Some Catholic leaders, however, are expressing concern over a handful of paragraphs that seem to blur moral lines. While I welcome much of what is old in the text of His Holiness, what is new is indeed troubling, Dr. Christopher Mannion told Church Militant. Pope Francis seems to celebrate deliberately ambiguous terminology. One segment seems to push the seamless Garmin theory, equating the gravity of abortion with that of the migrant crisis. We often hear it said that with respect to relativism and the flaws of our present world, the situation of migrants, for example, is a lesser issue. Some Catholics consider it a secondary issue compared to the grave bioethical questions. That a politician looking for votes might say such a thing is understandable, but not a Christian. Secular news outfits have published headlines assuming as much. Pope Francis puts caring for migrants and opposing abortion on equal footing, New York Times. Pope says fighting poverty is an essential as opposing abortion, Wall Street Journal. Fighting social injustice as important as fighting abortion, Pope Reuters. Unfortunately, the Holy Father has repeatedly been criticized for being intentionally obtuse Avoiding obvious distinctions and clear teachings, Mannion said. This statement qualifies as a prime example. Here he actually indulges in relativism with the adjective lesser. Less than what? Less important? By what standard? Prudential? Magisterial? We spend less time on it? He could easily teach with clarity here, he continued, but he refuses to make clear for the faithful reader the simple terms objective evil and prudential judgment, which definitions would quickly lay out the proper terms for discussion. Father Richard Perovic, retired priest from the Diocese of San Diego, California, told Church Militant, like some of Pope Francis's other documents, he uses Catholic words, but not with the same Catholic clarity and connection to previous church teachings. It begins with a sound teaching, a call to holiness, with which no one can argue is a work for all Christians, he continued. As it progresses, it incorporates other novelties of Pope Francis in homilies and to the press. And like I said, there's uh, much more to this article. Um, there are other points that they bring up about uh, what's in the exhortation. And if you care to read that,